Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Alexa Amazon uh, Echo Dot This is a 5th gen and in this video I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna remove everything from the Alexa and see what's inside Alexa, what makes it work and if it is repairable or not or because I, we do get people say that they want to replace the board, it's not powering it on a few other stuff in this video, I'm going to cover how to remove everything and what's underneath this uh, Alexa. All right. It is not, re it's really simple, not hard to do it. So I'm going to cover up everything. So first thing first, we're going to grab a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iPixel screwdriver set. And for the opening tool, you can use an opening tool or you can use a spatula, a metallic spatula. Or you can use a guitar pick, whichever you want, you can get one. A guitar pick is most common, it's a metallic guitar pick, it's suitable, it's easier to get cheaper than getting anything else. Now, with this guitar pick, what are you going to do? There's no screws, with, with, I can't see any screw here, but I see a rubber fit right underneath, this tiny rubber cover. So what are you going to do? We're going to stick this rubber guitar pick right underneath, but if you make life a little easier, you can spray a little bit of isopropylic alcohol right on the guitar pick, just like that. And let that blend the adhesive underneath. You can put a double-sided adhesive if you want to. There's the adhesive. So, place a little more. And it really comes out like a easy. And there we have it. This one only goes in one way, so you can see this nice big bump right there goes through here. And this tiny pin goes right through that pinhole right there. So whenever you want to put it back together. Once we remove this one, we can see we are greeted with the four screws right here. This is a torque screw. Let's see which one they are. These are torque number. I believe this one is too big too. Yep, this one is a torque. Number six, so you're gonna grab your torque screwdriver, number six, and you're gonna remove these four screws. These are uh, metallic threads, so that means it's, it's touching, some, grabbing from some metal base. So remove these four screws. Once we remove these four screws, uh, the bottom cover just falls out. So I see they have a, this acrylic, this is an like acrylic base for shining the LED. These are the LED lights all around. So there's a motherboard right here, power jack. I see a flex cable that goes all the way there. I'm guessing it's going to this switch button right there. So, and the whole base is being held down by a few more screws. So go ahead and let's remove this one, two, three, four screws on the board. Same torque screwdriver. Very hard. Now I can lift it up and to one side toward the side that we have the flex cable. And I can see that there's a little thermal pad here to cool down the main process unit and the Wi-Fi board, I don't know, programming. Now to disconnect this flex cable here, all you want to do is use your fingernail or guitar pick to lift up this power 90 degree upward. This is tiny 90 degree upward. And then it slide the flex cable back. Do not yank the flex cable without pulling up this lever. So we got the main board right here, the power jack, a uh, few components on both sides, LED lights right over here. And so we're going to leave this to one side and we have the housing. This flexible has a little adhesive, so we're going to remove this one. Now we're going to remove four screws that holds this housing to the top base. That one is a torque number seven, I believe. Let me see. Torque seven or torque number nine. I'm going to go with or torque number eight. Yeah, torque number eight. Remove the four screws that grab them from the plastic cover. 
I see there is a two connection here. This one goes touches the clips right here for the speaker. But there's a speaker right in there. We want to get into it. So I missed one screw. So let's go ahead and remove this one screw right over here. And there we have it. So there we go. So there's a housing for the speaker. And I believe this is for the volume, mute, button, power on switch right here. It comes with a flex cable that has a little adhesive lifted up like that. And uh, let's switch back to torque number seven or six. Remove the four screws right in here. Oh no, this one is actually smaller, so it's with torque number five. I don't know why they love changing the torque screws. I see that it does have a three speaker, three microphone. Once we remove this one, we're gonna grab a tweezers and we're gonna grab it from one corner and we're gonna try to lift it up. And there we go. And there's nothing else here, there's plastic and fabric mesh right on top. And down here we got this membrane for to click these tactical buttons right there. One, two, three, four microphone. But there is only three mic. One, two, three mic. This one is not installed. Maybe you can install another mic here, it will be better, I guess. But it's missing one mic. Alright, now let's get to the speaker section here. If your speaker is broken, you can buy a new one from AliExpress and you can search for it on eBay. To remove it, there's one, two, three, four screws for this one. And I believe it is at torque number six. So we're gonna remove this screws right in here is holding plastic to plastic because we're using a plastic threads also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area I appreciate that all right, now that we remove the four screws for this one, we're gonna lift up the speaker from the corners. We're gonna touch the center part. And you're gonna bring it out. Pretty much the housing is empty. Nothing in there with a cable that comes out and connects solders to the back end of this one here. To remove the speakers, pretty much you have to pull these cables back. And there we go, just like that. Get the new speaker and place it right on top and install it, it will get a little powerful speaker if you can find it. All right, so this is what's inside the Alexa Amazon Echo Dot 5th Gen. Yeah. So I don't know anything else we can remove from here. I doubt it. So let's go ahead and put it back together and power it on so let's connect these cables just slide them on so now you have to rotate until you find the right position not that one it only goes in in a certain position and let's go ahead and put the screws All right, once we put this one here, we're gonna put the speaker and mic. So I can put this one in, it only goes in one way. There's a little tiny pinhole right in there. That one goes right through here. So set that one flat in there. And then put this one over. And then put the four screws for the mic board. I'm going to call it mic board because the flex cable says mic.
Now what you want to do, you want to grab the speaker, bring it just like this, put it right on top. Uh, you want to put the four screws for the chrome screw that holds the speaker base to the top section. Always cross screw them. I always recommend you cross screw them. Don't go counterclockwise or clockwise. There we have it. Now, in order to connect the top and the motherboard, you want to bring it in this position and make sure this latch is open and then slide the flex cable all the way in and then lock it down and gently bring it over you can replace this thermal pad with a two millimeter thermal pad but this one is pretty fine and all you want to do is to put this space right over and put the tiny screws that you removed right on the top We could try to power it on, see how the LED turns on right now. So let me see if I will power it on. It should power on. Oh, there we go. You see all this LED lights nicely going around and around. So we can disconnect it. And we're going to grab the bottom housing. That's a diffusion for the light, so it looks nice. So you're going to put it right on top. And put the screws that we removed right over. And there we have it. To finish it off, grab the bottom plastic, put it on top, put some double sided adhesive. If not, that's fine. And there we have it. Back to how it was before without damaging anything. And you can just connect it and configure your own Alexa. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to tear down your Alexa Echo Dot 5th Gen. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.